This question has been taken from NZQA level 3 calculus paper. Uh, that is year 13 in New Zealand. And uh, the topic is integration. Okay, let's read the question. James is baking a cake. When he takes the cake out of the oven, the temperature of the cake is 180 degrees centigrade. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I'll come back to that later. James put puts it on a cake rack in the kitchen. After one hour, the cake has cooled to 100 degrees centigrade. It needs to cool to 35 degrees centigrade before it can be iced. The rate of cooling of a cake can be modeled by differential equation dt by dt is equal to k times t minus 20, where t is the temperature of the cake in degree centigrade or Celsius, and t is the time in hour after cake was taken out from the oven. You want to solve this to find the minimum time James needs to leave the cake before he can ice it. Okay, so this is a real life situation. So you uh, you have to have a little bit of understanding of physics, okay, not greater level. So yeah, in other words, you have got T is the temperature of the cake, degree centigrade, and T is the time in hours. So here, from this information, this is the time. This is the in this I can say when T is zero, your capital T is 180 degree centigrade. So this is one information, one piece of piece of information. And after one hour, that means when T is one. A capital T is 100 degrees centigrade. Okay, and you've got this differential equation. So basically, you want to find the question is when T is 35 degrees centigrade, you want to find the T. Or that how how long does it take, or how many hours does it take before it cools to 135 degrees centigrade? So again, we are presuming there are no external uh, effects or factors affecting the cooling of the cake. So this is the differential equation. dt by dt is kt times 20. So let's write that first. So we have got dt by dt is equal to k times t minus 20. So I'm going to isolate a t minus 20 with dt. So I can write 1 over T minus 20 dt, capital T, is equal to k times dt. Now, k is a constant. Okay. Uh, in other words, this differential equation is, or in other words, this differential equation is telling me the rate of change in temperature with respect to time is proportional to the temperature of the cake minus 20. Okay. I'm not going into the maths or the physics of that. And when you change the uh, proportionality, you get this constant, or which is also called the constant of proportionality. Okay. So now I can integrate both sides. So integration of 1 over t minus 20 dt is equal to k is a constant k times integration of dt. Now this is integration of 1 over x is natural log of x. So this would become natural log of modulus of t minus 20 is equal to kt plus c, where c is the constant of integration. You don't need to put a constant on both sides. This takes care of the constant on both sides. So now this writing in the exponent form, this has a base of e. So writing in the exponent form, so I can say modulus of t minus 20 is e to the power kt plus c, okay, which is nothing but e to the power kt times e to the power c. So this becomes, now I'll remove the modulus because it's, uh, we are presuming that this whole thing is going to be positive. So t minus 20 is equal to, and I'm going to replace this by a different constant. You can put any constant. I'm putting b in place of e to the power c because e is a constant. And c is also a constant. So this is same as b e to the power kt. So t as a function of time, t as a function of time, temperature as a function of time is b 
e to the power kt plus 20. So this is the equation. Now this is a general equation. Now we want to find a particular solution. We want to find b and k now. Now you've got two conditions. When t is 0, temp when time is 0, your t is 180. I can put that there. So I know when t is 0, your temperature is 180 degrees. So I can put this in this equation. So I can say 180 is equal to b e to the power 0 because k times 0 is 0 plus 20. So e to the power 0 is 1. So 180 minus 20 is b. So b I can write as 160. So this whole thing changes to, this implies, or so this will become, t is equal to 160 e to the power kt plus 20. Okay, let me change color. Now what's the next situation we know? When t is 1, after 1 hour, the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius or centigrade. I'm going to put this here. So this is 100 is equal to 160 times e to the power uh, your t is 1 so that is k plus 20. Can I write? Yeah. So if you take away 20 from both sides so it is 80 is equal to 160 e to the power k. I'm dividing both sides by 160 so 80 over 160 is e to the power k. So this is nothing but half is equal to e to the power k. So now this is a num. This is e to the power. Oops, e to the power k. Let me write k properly. So this is k. So now I'm taking take natural log of both sides. So natural log of half is equal to k times natural log of e. So what I'm doing is I'm taking natural log of e on both sides. So I hope for the next step I'll do let me do. So natural log of half is equal to natural log of e to the power k. Now I've used one rule. I hope you all know that rule, which is natural log of, let me write the rule. The rule is natural log of, uh, say, anything. Suppose x to the power m is m log x. Okay, so applying that rule, I've done this. So now natural log of e has a base of e. So this is nothing but 1. So k is nothing but natural log of half. I'll leave this as natural log of half. Okay. Therefore, our equation changes to uh, level v. We were here yeah, 160. So in place of k, I can put natural log of half. So now t is 160, 160 times e to the power t times natural log of half or half times t plus 20. Now the question is when t is 35 degrees centigrade or when would the k become 35 degrees centigrade? So I want to find t. So let us put this finally here. We're almost there. So 35 is equal to 160 times e to the power t times natural log of half plus 20. So taking away 20 from both sides, 15 is equal to 160 times e to the power uh, t times natural log of half. So dividing 160 from bo uh, on both sides, so 15 divided by 160 is e to the power t times natural log of half. Now here to whenever you have a power as a variable or variable as a power you hit it with a log. Okay, so this is natural log of 15 over 160 is equal to natural log of e to the power t times natural log of so applying the log rule, this whole thing will come down. So natural log of 
natural log of 50 over 160 is t times natural log of half times natural log of e now natural log of natural log has a base of e so again this becomes 1 so finally this is natural log of 15 divided by 160 the whole thing divided by natural log of 0 0.5 is your t or dividing both sides by natural log of half so i need my calculator so i will so this is natural log of 15 divided by 160 the whole thing divided by natural log of 0 0.5 which is 3.415 in four significant figures or three decimal points. So 3.415. So your T is 3.415 hours. So after, uh, so if someone is asking you how many minutes, how would you do that? So this is in hours. So this is say uh, three hours. This is not 40 minutes, okay, that's what I want to explain. So this is three hours plus 0.415 hours. Now, if you want to change this into hours, you have to multiply by 60. So three hours and let us write in exact form almost, not the exact, so this is. So you should not make the mistake of writing three hours and 40 minutes. That's what I want to explain. So this is zero. 0.415 times 60 is 24.9 that is about 25 minutes and 25 minutes so about after three and a half hour you can surely james can surely ice the cake